What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Coinbase app to buy and sell Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So first, I'm gonna hop over to the App Store, and what you can do is tap search in the tab bar in the bottom right, and then search Coinbase. And then you just want to download the Coinbase app. Once you've downloaded the app, you can open it up and you'll be instructed to sign up. You'll have to put in your name, email, password, maybe even some verification of your identity, like a driver's license or something like that. And then you'll be able to attach your bank account or credit card. And once you've done those steps, you should be good to go and ready to make a Bitcoin purchase. So what we see here are the three cryptocurrencies that Coinbase supports. In short, these cryptocurrencies are digital money that we can use for peer-to-peer -peer payment methods. The advantages are that they are more secure, faster, and have lower fees than any of our current financial systems. And all of these currencies vary a little bit. They have different goals and different purposes. For example, Bitcoin is kind of like a digital gold and Litecoin is more like a quick peer-to-peer -peer payment method. And these all work the same within the app. So for now, we're just gonna focus on Bitcoin. And you can tap on this and go to a more detailed view. And you can see a chart from hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and all time. I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna tap on the accounts tab on the bottom of the screen and these will be your wallets. So to hold Bitcoin or to own Bitcoin, you need a Bitcoin wallet. This wallet is gonna allow you to store Bitcoin inside of it. There's also other apps and platforms that also have Bitcoin wallets. So you could send Bitcoin from your wallet on Coinbase to a Bitcoin wallet on a different platform. So we have a Bitcoin wallet, and if you tap on that, it will show all of your transactions there. And then the Ethereum and Litecoin wallets and a US dollars wallet. So the US dollars wallet, you can make a deposit from your bank and it will go straight to your US dollars wallet. Or when you sell your Bitcoin, you can sell it to the US dollars wallet. Think of the US dollars wallet as your bank account within the Coinbase platform. Skipping the buy button, I'm gonna move over to alerts. You can set alerts here for any of these cryptocurrencies. Like if you have a good idea that you want to buy Bitcoin when it drops below $10,000, you can tap the plus in the top right, slide this thing over, and then hit create alert. And we can see this alert right here has been added. We can turn it on and off and Coinbase will send you a push notification when the price drops below $10,000. Hopping over to the settings, this will have all of your information, your personal information, stuff like that. And if we go to linked accounts, we can actually see all of the bank accounts and credit cards or debit cards that you've linked here, and you can remove those or add more from this screen. And then I'm gonna tap on the buy tab in the bottom middle. Now this tab will allow you to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. And then let's say we just wanted to buy some Bitcoin. So I'll type in $100 of Bitcoin. It'll automatically calculate that as 0 0.0088, etc. Bitcoin. And then all you would need to do is hit buy in the top right. So we can see that the fee is $2.99 if I buy it from my bank account. If I switch to a credit card, we're getting a higher fee there for using a credit card. So those are your options for buying Bitcoin. You can buy with your credit card or your bank account. That'll take probably seven business days to show up. Another thing I wanna show you is how to send or receive Bitcoin. So I'm gonna to go to my accounts, my wallet. Basically your wallet or anyone's wallet will have an address. It'll be a string of letters and numbers, like 10 to 20 digits or so. And if we tap on my wallet, then we tap on this QR code looking thing in the top right, it will open up your Bitcoin address. So you can open up this and then you can hit copy address. That's basically gonna copy the string of numbers. And then you can share that address with anyone and they will be able to send Bitcoin to your address. And vice versa, if you need to send anyone Bitcoin, they can send you their address. And then you would hit this send button in the top right, type in the amount, and then you would be able to send Bitcoin to them. 
Let me close this out and then I'll open up notes to show you what the address looks like. So I'm just gonna paste what I copied. So that's what a Bitcoin address will look like. Just for reference, know that you can send and receive Bitcoin from anyone using these addresses. That's all for this one. I know there's a ton of information there. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for daily mobile app videos just like this one. Also check out some of my other social media and subscribe to my other YouTube channels. I'll link them down in the description. I actually have some more detailed tutorials over there showing how I make money using cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. So give it a look. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.